Redbad or Radbod was the king of Frisia from c. 680 until his death. He is often considered the last independent ruler of Frisia before Frankish domination. He defeated Charles Martel at Cologne. Eventually, however, Charles prevailed and compelled the Frisians to submit. Radbod died in 719, but for some years his successes struggled against the Frankish power, king or duke. What the exact title of the Frisian rulers was, depends on the source. Frankish sources tend to call them dukes, other sources often call them kings. Being Germanic pagans, it is likely that they would have been called kings by their followers, whereas the Christianized Franks, who had inherited the Latin literary tradition, would have referred to them as dukes. Reign, while his predecessor, Algisal, had welcomed Christianity into his realm. Radbod attempted to extirpate the religion and free the Frisians from subjugation to the Merovingian kingdom of the Franks. In 689, however, Radbod was defeated by Pippin of Herstal in the Battle of Dorostad and compelled to cede West Frisia to the Franks. Between 690 and 692, Utrecht fell into the hands of Pippin of Herstal. This gave the Franks control of important trade routes on the Rhine to the North Sea. Some sources say that, following this defeat, Radbod retreated, in 697, to the island of Heligoland. Others say he retreated to the part of the Netherlands that is still known as Friesland. Around this time there was an archbishopric or bishopric of the Frisians founded for Willy Broad and a marriage was held between Grimwald the Younger, the oldest son of Pippin, and Thyadbind, the daughter of Radbod in 711. On Pippin's death in 714, Radbod took the initiative again. He forced St. Willy Broad and his monks to flee and advanced as far as Cologne, where he defeated Charles Martel, Pippin's natural son, in 716. Eventually, however, Charles prevailed and compelled the Frisians to submit. Radbod died in 719, but for some years his successes struggled against the Frankish power. As an example of how powerful King Radbod still was at the end of his life, the news that he was engaged in assembling an army was enough to fill France with fear and trembling. Relation with the Church during the second journey of St. Boniface to Rome, Wilfram, a monk and ex-archbishop of Sens tried to convert Radbod, but not succeeding he returned to Fontenal. It is said that Radbod was nearly baptized, but refused when he was told that he would not be able to find any of his ancestors in heaven after his death. Since he preferred spending eternity in hell with his pagan ancestors than in heaven with his enemies, especially the Franks. This legend is also told with Wolf from being replaced with Bishop Willy Broad. Willy Broad tried this while on a Carolingian-sponsored mission into Frisia with the express purpose of trying to convert the pagan Frisians living there in the hope that, once they had converted to Christianity, the Franks could gain control of the important trade port Dorostad, which they had up to that point been unable to do. Legacy Saint Radbud was descended from him. Saint Radbud was a bishop of Utrecht who adopted his ancestor's native name. The Nijmegen University and its corresponding medical facility were named after him in 2004. In Richard Wagner's Lohengrin a certain Radbod, ruler of the Frisians, is mentioned as Ortred's father. It is possible that Wagner was thinking of the historical Radbod, although he died more than 150 years before the birth of Henry the Fowler, another character in the opera, who could not, therefore, be contemporary of Radbod's daughter. In Harry Harrison's The Hammer and the Cross series of novels, Radbod becomes the founder of The Way, an organized pagan cult, created to combat the efforts of Christian missionaries. Black metal band Ophidian Forest recorded a concept album Redbad in 2007. 
Dutch folk metal band Hyder Folk recorded a song, Koning Raboot, on their 2008 album, Well Halla Watt, singing about the legend of Wolfram in Red Bad. In 2015 the Frisian folk metal band Baldur's Drama released a full album on the life and deeds of King Redbad called Old Gillesowin. It is based on the book Redbad, Chronique Fan in Kenning by Willem Skustra.